Hi guys, it's Molly here from ProDirect and today you're in for a treat. We'll be discussing these beauties with a very special guest. That's it guys, and today is all about Women's World Cup. 24 teams competing in 52 matches over the course of four weeks. How exciting is that? We're making sure you're up to speed on who's wearing what and the story behind why. And I told you today you'd be in for a treat. The Claire Rafferty joins us. Wow, this girl's done a bit. Competed in an Olympics, two World Cups, five FA Cup finals, and made over 100 league appearances. There literally is no one better to have in the hot seat as we discuss all things Women's World Cup. Okay, Claire, take your pick. I'm going to have to choose the England away to start with. OK, let's give you some background on this one then. We're referencing English counterculture, a maximalist design to introduce a bold, irreverent kit featuring a hand-drawn print created by using various flowers found in different counties and regions within England. The result? A distinctive floral pattern that truly represents the entire nation. So, Claire, what do you think? Firstly, I love the fact that, you know, it's got the lionesses written on it and it's specifically made for the women mm -hmm. and for this World Cup. Equally, I love the aspect of the flowers and how they represent uh, the whole country mm -hmm. because obviously the team is built up of girls from all over the country. I really love the colour. It's not as bright as the last few have been. Um, it's kind of quite a darker red. Obviously, you've played in England teams in the past. Let's talk about the fit of kit. Previously, the kits have been um, quite narrow around the hip area um, and don't allow for the natural body shape of a female. The arm length is shorter. I remember playing when the, and the arms were literally down roll to your elbow, so you, you have to roll up about four or five times. <laughs> Equally, the kit now sits nicely on top of the shorts yep. as well, so you don't have to fold up everything. So it looks a lot smarter. That's England away. OK, Claire, speak to us about your next shirt. Next up, I'm going for the away USA kit. So we're using stars and stripes at the centre of the Federation's graphic identity. One nation, one team, as the women look to become back-to-back -back world champions to earn their fourth star. America, away. Claire, talk to us about this design. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Firstly, I've always been really envious of the kits that the Americans wear because they always I've have been quite yeah. um, nicely fitted. Yeah. The shoulders length has been really short and it just looks nice on the girls. Um, equally, the colours, very vibrant and the pattern, you know, you can really see the stars and stripes come through. And I think it's very important to, you know, keep the slogan and keep the identity running through the whole team and, and keep it continuous. Like yeah. the Lionesses had their, yeah. their identity on theirs. So one nation, one team, it really kind of thumps home who they are. OK, Claire, next one up. Next up, the Australian team. Bit of background then about this one. With an average age of under 24 years old, an extremely youthful Matilda side will take to the pitch in France, looking to make their mark on the world stage. Never say die is used as a pride detail, a common phrase used among the Matildas. Claire, what do you think about this one? I think obviously the colours really stand out. Very yeah. typical um, of what an Australian rugby kit normally looks like, actually. Yeah, yeah. And obviously you've got the phrase, never say die, which is so representative of the tenacity of the Australian team. Always really hated playing against them because of their, <laughs> their character and their strength. So I think it fully represents who they are. OK, Claire, let's pick out your next one. Next up, the French shirt. Combined in French elegance and the country's symbol of national pride, the famous blue, red, white is recreated from head to toe. OK, give us your thoughts. I really like the simplicity of it. Um, it's not kind of too in your face. Mm -hmm. I think going into this World Cup, the French are actually um, going to be quite unassuming, but will be top favourites to go on and win. Um, you know, the, the phrase here, the difference is unite us, really kind of is similar to what they've done with the England kit. Um, you know, bringing everyone together and representing everyone with one shirt. Equally, the subtleties of the uh, French badge um, really sums up uh, what the kit represents. OK, Claire, talk to us about your next one. Next up, Brazil. The yellow jersey is sacred and must be respected as it's as recognisable as the country's flag. 
Tell us your thoughts. I think for me, seeing these colours and seeing this shirt, you equally kind of get the fear in your eyes because you know the quality that it represents and what it stands by and the history, you know, the players they've got in their depth from the, the World Cup day one. Um, yeah, it's one to be feared for sure. Okay, next up then for us, Claire. Next up, we have the Italy kit. Claire, what are your thoughts? For me, when I see this colour, I, I see Italy, so it is very representative of the country and who they are. It's very simple, but I think the colour speaks volumes. You've got a very subtle um, Italian flag on the sleeve as well, which adds a little bit of detail, and uh, equally on the back. But yeah, very, very simple, but very to the point, and um, they know who they are with this. Next one up, Claire. Next up is the Jamaican kit. Jamaica's traditional vibrant yellow colour with striking black, green and yellow taping on the sleeves. Inspired by Umbro's logo and the country's iconic flag. A subtle graphic feature on the body of the shirt inspired by palm trees that line the Jamaican coastline. Claire, tell us your thoughts. For me, this has been my favourite kit so far. Really love the black, the yellow and the green. And I love how Umbro have used their logo in the kit. Um, a standout kit for me, for sure. Next up. Up next, the Germany kit. This jersey is reminiscent of the shirt worn in 1989 when the women won their first European Championship. The DNA of the team and their history is visible through the colours and the design. Okay, tell us what you think. I think the simplicity of the colours kind of really shines through the use of the colours of the badge as well. And yeah, as you said, it, it's a very kind of old school look to the kit um, that the women wore when they won back in 1989 for the first time. So now you know everything you need to know about the Women's World Cup jerseys, we're about to show you our top five. Number five, France. Number four, USA, away. Number three, Australia, home. Number two, Jamaica, home. And our favorite, number one, England, away. And that's it from us. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to Pro Direct Soccer. And for your chance to win one of these amazing Women's World Cup jerseys, make sure you tell us your size and your favourite shirt by commenting below. But first, subscribe.